Hi, welcome back to the Elite Automation YouTube channel. I'm Malachi Greb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. And here we have... Emma Lynn Greb. Emma Lynn Greb. What do you do with Elite Automation, Emma? Um, I learn more about it. You learn more about it, that's a good thing. So today we're gonna learn even more. Uh, we're going to show you guys how to do a tri-catch and a mirror AMR, which a tri-catch essentially is error handling. So we'll just give you an example of what's currently going on and, and a potential example issue. So we're gonna go ahead and start our AMR. mission so this is our mission button right here we already clicked it we're already in play mode right here and as you can see the AMR is moving to a position uh, the AMR is not gonna be able to reach that position because there's a an obstruction in its position so uh, we're gonna go ahead and just let this mirror try to uh, reach the position so it says right here goal is blocked retrying in three seconds attempt three out of ten uh, so this will take, uh, you know, I guess roughly like 50 seconds to uh, execute all these tries and we'll see here in a few seconds exactly what it's going to do and we're going to take you guys through the process of how to uh, attempt to fix this condition. Alright, so now we have tried all 10 attempts to reach this position. Notice we have an error up here. Uh, and it also gives us a description of the error down here. Fa failed to reach goal position P1. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the error status. Failed to reach goal position P1. Uh, gives us an error code. Uh, module mission controller. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and reset this. We're going to go to our setup missions. Go down to our elite automation mission right here. EliteAutomationUSA.com so here's uh, this quick little small program that we have for doing some small testing things here uh, and we're going to utilize for this example. So we have four different positions here. You've only seen P1 uh, and that we failed to get to P1. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a try catch and you know one of the primary reasons for making this video is you're going to be want to be able to condition handle your errors as well as know how to use the try catch feature. So we're gonna go ahead and add the try catch. So with the try catch, uh, what you need to do is you need to try to do something, right? So that's what your try is. And then your catch is if you fail to do whatever the thing is you're trying to do, it will do whatever that next catch action is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go ahead and we're gonna drag our whole program into this try function. Boom. So we brought our whole entire program into this uh, try function and now we need to do something to try to catch it. So I'm going to add a position here. I'm going to move that position to the catch. Uh, we're going to go to settings and we're going to change that position to a uh, P5 charging. Uh, validate and close. Boom, there we go. So now we have a catch. Let's go ahead and save this. We'll go back to our dashboards, Elite Automation. Uh, let me save it one more time just to be sure. I do that on like almost every time. Uh, so dashboards, Elite Automation. Run the Elite Automation code. Run the Elite Automation code here. Okay, so now we're running it. We're actually running it twice. Uh, so it's executing, goal is blocked. Same issue that we had before. Uh, we're gonna see a bunch of try attempts here. All right, so we are about to fail. We just failed our last attempt, and you can see moving to P5 charging. So uh, you can see the AMR is moving back to P5 charging, and once it gets to back to P5 charging, you're gonna notice it does nothing, uh, which in some instances may be okay. Maybe this is just a uh, charge function, and you wanna charge, and then uh, wait for operator intervention or maintenance or whoever it may be. So at least your at least your mirror AMR is back 
uh, at a charging location charging versus just sitting out in space and its battery getting low and potentially dying and then having to manually you know drag it back to the charging location this is a good way to, to condition handle that particular error now we're gonna go ahead and go back to our missions setup missions uh, go back to our leadautomation.com mission and then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a loop so create a loop and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this try and we're gonna try to put it in this loop uh, I'm gonna tell you right now it's probably not gonna like it here we go boom so one thing that's weird about uh, mirror is you got to kind of play around with where your instructions are at in order to be able to drop things inside of things it's kind of got some weird quirky things about it like that uh, so we went ahead and dropped our catch inside of uh or we went ahead and dropped our try catch inside of this loop right here so now this is one main loop and with this particular instance something that may be a better option would be to go to the charging location uh so we just have a move to charge but it may be better to have like a dock to charge and then have it stay at that dock to charge until like 20 40 percent battery charged or something like that so if it gets up to a high battery percentage uh then it would go ahead and go back out and try again and all this stuff will be very dependent on what your particular uh operation looks like uh another thing like i would advise is you probably don't want to try this endlessly you may the only reason you may want to try this endlessly is if you just go back into a normal operation so if you're going to go into charging and then uh you think whatever issue will be fixed and pretty much will always be fixed then you can kind of have this endless but what you don't want it to do is keep charging to 20 percent go back through uh to try to reach this position again and then go back to charging and then do it over again and then do it over again endlessly and not have any type of notification to uh to operators or to maintenance so let's go ahead and save the changes here we're gonna go ahead and let it be endless for now and then we're gonna go to our dashboard dashboard elite automation we'll go ahead and leave and then we're going to run this code run this mission right here uh it's going to go ahead and try to get to p1 and after it gets to p1 it's going to try its try attempts because there is an object uh in the way and we'll just go ahead and skip past this until it fails All right, so we're about to have a failed attempt number uh, 10, and what you're gonna see is it's gonna go ahead and catch it, and it's gonna go ahead and go over to the uh, charge location. So right now, this is just a position. We don't actually have a dock here with us right now. In a normal condition, you'd probably have this thing dock and charge for a period of time, and so it's immediately just gonna leave this position and try again. Uh, another thing that you actually may wanna do that may be very helpful is instead of going to a charge position, if you literally just go to another space, because uh, there are some times where like maybe the robot falsely sees something so if you can like just go to another location like right here and then come over try to then try to come over to the position it might actually be able to uh, get there in that instance especially if you're trying to navigate <laughs> in really tight areas uh, then it may be a good idea to let the robot fail out kind of go to another position that's very close to that and then give it another point of view to to try and uh, navigate one more time. So we're already at attempt number seven again of 10. And I'm gonna just go ahead and explain to you real quick. This, this is gonna continue on over and over and over again. But if we was to put like a two loop in there where it only loops through this code two times, uh, it would come back over to this position and just park and be done. So guys, if you wanna see more of these Mir AMR videos or Fanic robot videos, uh, PLC videos, things like that, or just general, uh, industrial automation, knowledge, events, things like that. Hit that subscribe button because that's what we're about here on this YouTube channel. See, see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>